guys, what's going on? Peter J. Cruz here. Today, I wanted to take a, a few minutes and do a quick little review on my latest guitar, my, my sweet little baby. Um, this is my latest custom shop, uh, Carbon ST300C. Um, and I'll go over like what I, what I ordered as far as features and spe uh, specs on it. Um, and then I'll probably on the edit, I'll edit in some, some clips of me playing it to highlight various aspects of the guitar. Because uh, I don't really want to be messing with setting up mics and stuff like that right now. So Anyway, so here's, the, here's my latest. This is a uh, Carvin ST300C, um, which is basically a Super Strat uh, guitar with um, you know, dual humbuckers, five-way switch, volume, tone control. Um, it's a 25 and a half inch scale length, 24 frets. Uh, it's a, I think stock on it is a 14 inch uh, fretboard radius, and you know um, locking tuners I think are standard as well on the guitar. And then you could select whatever woods and other features and stuff that that, that you want your bridge and everything. So uh, that being said, I went ahead and took the base ST300C. Which was this? It just incidentally is the same model as my green carbon that you've seen in my other videos, um, and this one here I went with the I guess I went with the gold hardware. So I got the gold volume knob, tone knob, uh, Floyd Rose locking tuners and uh, strap locks, and went with a walnut body. Um, so I've got the it's since the neck through design. I got the walnut wings here in here. Went with a five piece uh, five piece neck which has got two walnut stripes and I really did that only because that just looks so damn sexy doesn't it? Damn, it's, that's just hot. I mean it goes all the way down to the very end so um, I couldn't pass that up so I went ahead and went, went with that option as well. Uh, it, I stuck with the 14 inch radius fingerboard uh, and on the front of it uh, looking at it you've got your, of course your, your Floyd Rose I skipped the locking nut like I usually do uh, all my carbons have Floyd Roses, no locking nut I don't have a need for it, you know. Uh, my stability, my tuning stability is no problem whatsoever. I have no issues with it at all. Um, it holds tune just fine. If you know what you're doing, you won't have any issues with it. And um, it, to me, the, the locking tune is just kind of, I mean, the uh, locking nut is really a, more of a pain in the ass than anything else. So I skipped it, and I've not been sorry so far. So rock on. Um, I went with the Carbon M22 SD, which is their high output bridge pickup. And the M22V, which is more of a tempered lead, kind of a classic sounding, almost single coily PAF, kind of in between uh, lead pickup. Uh, and it actually sounds pretty good. It sounds ballparkish to my custom shop Seymour Duncan. I've got in my neck position on my other carbon, uh, kind of for that Inve type of, you know, kind of single coily lead sound. This almost hits it. The uh, other carbon, the Seymour Duncan Custom Shop pickup, nails it. So anyway, so I'm with a Claro walnut top, and it's book matched, and you'd be hard pressed to find find where the seam is on the top. I mean, it's just really, really good. And I will say, you know, the materials and everything else, second to none by Carbon, uh, and they built this guitar in about 19 days, if if I remember correctly. I had the guitar in less than less than 30 days from when I ordered it. Anyway, so. Uh, but going back to the top, I'm looking at this Claro top, and it has a 3D effect, and it probably won't come out on camera. I mean, you'd have to uh, honestly see it in person. But if you hold the guitar like this, and then turn it, the f like the flames change, the, like the actual like lines through the. And it's funny because you've got like flame going this way, and then you've got flames, almost like stripes going up and down as well. Uh, it's really a, a unique top. I've not seen one this stunning before. I guess I'm lucky, so rock on. So anyway, so um, yeah, I've got the Claro walnut top, the walnut wings on the back, five-piece maple neck, ebony fingerboard, which is the standard, and I, I love it. Uh, I went with the jumbo frets on this one, so I got 24 jumbo frets, uh, and I, they're also stainless steel, so this way I won't have to worry about fret wear or anything like that. Um, so I got 24 stainless steel jumbo frets, went with the abalone, inlet, it, no, the abalone inlays on the fingerboard, 14-inch um, uh, fretboard radius, and then on the, up at the top, of course, I skipped the, the locking nut, 
uh, gold hardware on the, on the locking tuners, and they were car carbon branded locking tuners. They dropped the spurzels, and they went to these, and I mean, these are fine. I don't notice any real functional difference whatsoever. They look a bit more bulky than the spurzels, but but these have a big carbon embossing right on them, and um, anyway, it's, it, it's all good. I mean, it works. So um, I got my engra uh, engraved truss rod cover and a uh, Clara Walnut um, Clara Walnut headstock overlay. Other than that, uh, just getting into the actual um, aspect of it, it's it's a really thick sounding guitar. Part of that was probably might be the rich, you know, the pickups themselves because they're the metal series of uh, from carbon. Um, but it, it cleans cleans up extremely well. Uh, cleans up to great. And I'll be inter in intersecting this video with playing demos and clips of me playing the guitar, which I will be doing right now. Um, and uh, for distortions and stuff, uh, this this pickup here is a fire breather. Harmonics out the wazoo. And it's real thick, real chunky. Um, handles will handle pretty much anything outside of like you know really really low uh, like you know drop tunings and stuff. And then the neck pickup sounds really really good for leads. Kind of has that stratty kind of uh, lead sound without being too single coily. And of course they're they're humbucker so they're silent. You can split them on the in between positions. So this one will split to the bridge coil and this one will, this one will split to the neck coil. I think it's a little problem. Um, and other than that, that's it. So, um, uh, I'll, like I said, I'll go ahead and throw in some, some clips here and there uh, throughout the video of various uh, playing different things on the guitar so you can kind of hear it. Um, and that's all I had. But I mean, overall, oh. And when I ordered it, I also ordered a leather, uh, carbon leather strap. Um, it's actually made by Levy, Levy. Um, they make a lot of good leather guitar straps. And um, man, it's locked in already. And uh, and just lock it in, and away I go. So, and I got the strap with it. I think it was like forty bucks, thirty-five dollars, forty dollars, whatever. And um, it's, it's, it's leather, and it cut. Yeah, it put the lock in. You know, the strap locks on it, and it's good to go. So, uh, rock on. So anyway, that's all I got. Stay tuned for uh, for more stuff with this guitar here, as well as my my other carbons and stuff. Uh, my CD, which I'm hoping to have out in, uh, well, the release date is supposed to be May 13th. Rock on, I'll, I'll, I'm going to be sticking to it. Um, will be pretty much this guitar and my Green Carbon. I'll probably have my V220 on there as well to some degree. Uh, and I don't think I'll have any acoustic on there. But, um, but if not, it'll be all electric and everything else will be those three carbons. Um, this guitar might have new pickups in it by then. We will see. And that's all I had. So anyway, thanks guys for, for uh, checking this out, for uh, stopping by, uh, for hitting like down below and the subscribe button. Rock on. And um, stay tuned. And uh, we'll keep rocking this, this bad boy. Rock on, guys. Catch you later.